Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a beautiful set of nude and rose gold nails to show you. So I've gone in and already prepped all of the nails. So I've pushed back the cuticles, gone in with my cuticle bit and removed all the dead skin off the natural nail plate. Then I've gone in with my fine sanding band and removed all the shine, dehydrated, applied my forms and primed and now I'm going straight in with acrylic application. So I'm using my CJP size 12 brush and I'm using crystal glass and I am building just a platform for me to work on because the tip of this nail is going to be glitter. And then I will go in and take peach sorbet and I'm just starting off at the small line area, replacing it placing it backwards, sorry not replacing it, placing it backwards so I can blend that bead back and have a nice wall of acrylic on where I want my small line to be. And just gently swiping my brush along that small line so that I can make it as neat as possible but I am going to go ahead and file it crisp anyway so you don't have to be super super neat. I'm then going to go in with a cuticle bead and place it at the cuticle area and then with the tip of my brush blend the bead into the natural nail plate and then with the body of my brush drag that bead down. I'm also thinking about where my apex is placed on this nail because we're not going to encapsulate the peach so I want to make sure that I have the correct structure and strength with that nail bed area. And whilst that is drying I will move on to the next finger and I'm just going in with crystal glass and applying a full structure base here. I'm also going to be add, adding clear onto the nail plate because I am going to do a full glitter nail on this nail so I want to make sure that the natural nail plate is protected and we can just fall back down to this base when we're ready to redesign. So I'm going to go back to the index smile line and just file that crisp. When you are doing this you want to make sure your file is like flat against the wall where you want your smile line to be. Um, rather than just underneath and then when you file away your excess you're not going to reveal that nice crisp line. So once I've done that I took the form off and just going to go just wet the nail the acrylic so that all the dust is gone and then I'm just going in with the Glitter Fairies Rose Gold Hollow Multi Cut. This is one of my favourites. It is such a gorgeous glitter and it just captures that light so amazingly well. I just love it. It's definitely one of my favourites. And I'm just going to apply this on the tip and then making sure that I'm keeping that small line area nice and free from any of the glitter so that when we do cap it still looks really really nice and neat. So I'm just popping the pinching tool on to the ring finger so I can pinch before I apply my glitter. Because if I don't pinch now and I encapsulate this nail and then I go back to that nail, apply all my glitter, then wait for that to dry, then cap, it's going to be too late because that bottom layer is already going to be, you know, set. So there's no point pinching when it's set, it's not going to do anything. So I always make sure that when I'm doing these clear layers, I'm getting that pinch in first and the form was already coming off anyway. So I just removed it because the acrylic was ready and now I'm just going to go in and apply a full glitter nail on this nail. When doing full glitter nails, especially when you're working with like chunkier mixes and stuff, you just want to make sure you're applying it really, really thin. I kind of like put it into place with the tip of my brush and then I'm always trying to flatten it down with the body of the brush. And the way I pick up my glitter is raw, so I will dip my brush into my monomer, into my clear powder for a tiny bead and then I'll place it into the glitter. And then what I'll do is as I place it on the nail bed, I will like roll it over so that the glitter is at the bottom and the acrylic is at the top and that way it's much more easier to maneuver around and um, working in really thin and wet of course because you don't want to over bulk and then I will just allow that to dry slightly and move on to the next nail so that when I do cap I'm not going to move or drag any of that glitter off 
So onto the middle finger and I'm going in with buttermilk again from CJP. Everything I use is from CJP, there's no point me even saying. <laughs> if there is something else that I don't use then I will mention but everything I'm using is CG CJP here. These are their beautiful butterfly forms and their size 12 brush and this is buttermilk. So it's just more like an off-white colour, um, really fantastic for doing baby boomers. It is a gorgeous ombre colour, so you could create so many different ombres with this colour, like different ones to ombre into. It's just so flawless and beautiful. So while that free edge on that nail is setting, I will go back to the ring finger and encapsulate. So I'm just placing my bead of clear on pushing it into all the little cracks and crevices with the tip of my brush and then just dragging the rest of that bead down the entire surface of the nail making sure that I'm covering all that glitter you want to make sure that it is all matte and if there are any shiny bits left then you do know you haven't encapsulated it so just to go back in and add as much or as little acrylic as you need to make sure that it is all covered and that your structure and your strength is all in place also um, trying to work as neat as you can just to save filing time as well because we all hate filing, don't we? So after I've pinched that free edge, I'm just going to go in with Perfect Peach and make an ombre. So I'll place it at the cuticle area, making sure the bead is not too dry because I want to be able to blend that into the buttermilk nicely. And then while that's setting, I will go on and move on to the index finger. So I did stop the film recording and I did go ahead and apply a clear base onto the index finger because um, you've seen me do that plenty of times. So I'm just going to go back and pinch that one while I'm still perfecting the blend on the middle finger. So I'm going in with a cuticle bead and I'm just going in with peach sorbet, placing it at the cuticle as always, working it with the tip of my brush and blending that bead down the towards the free edge and I'm not really bothered about the neatness of the blend because I'm just going to go in with some glitter at the free edge on this nail anyway and just blend it back towards the cuticle area. Then whilst that glitter is setting in place, I will go back to the middle finger and just encapsulate my blend. I don't need to go right back to the cuticle area because I've already applied my um, cover peach. So it is a core powder, so there's no reason to encapsulate that. I literally just want to encapsulate the blend so that I don't file it away. And then obviously we'll go back to the index finger and just encapsulate that glitter. Again, I don't need to take the clear all the way back to the cuticle area because I've already created my structure and stuff with my peach then when they were all done all the fingers were completed and dry i removed the forms and i filed shaped and buffed them and now i'm just going in with buttermilk on the ring finger and creating a 3d rose this set that i'm doing today is inspired by the amazing cass dixon She's on Facebook, she's one of my friends, and she's just an amazing nail artist. All of her sets are so flawless, um, and these definitely, 100% inspiration came from her. In fact, I more or less copied them. <laughs>
I'm going to go on to the ring finger and just apply some Swarovski crystals with CJP gripper glue. Just a tiny amount where I want the crystals to go and picking them up with my wax pencil that I got from eBay. It was like really super cheap um, and I'm just placing some Randall crystals going along like in an S kind of shape along this nail. I'm then just going to go in with some top coat and follow that shape that we've created with the crystals just going around the around the crystals up the nail and I'm going to go in with the glitter fairies rainbow gold super fine shine and I'm just going to sprinkle this on well plonk it on I will remove the excess I'll cure that and brush it all cleaned it off all the crystals so it looked really nice and neat that glitter is amazing because you could use it like instead of Instead of using like um, pixie crystals, um, it just looked amazing and my client was super happy with it and so was I. And then as always, finishing the service, going in with my cuticle oil, then I'll cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp. And then I will go and apply my cuticle oil to replenish all those nutrients we have dehydrated out. And then that will be the finished video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.